Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my spring morning routine. I got up at 6 something, 6.05, I think my alarm goes off at, and I'm about to go let Millie out. I have to go to the gym really soon. I have a class, so I get up pretty early, and I don't do most of my routine until I get back, but this is my workout fit. My leggings are from Story. They're super cute, and then the sports bra is just the bandeau sports bra from Gym and a sweater over top because I'm still cold. And it's time for you to go out for a bathroom. You ready to go outside? I would love to be having a coffee first thing in the morning like I used to, but I've been dealing with some stomach issues recently. I've been trying to wait to have it or just figure out when is the best time for me to have it. I'm still figuring that one out. And then I'm gonna make my pre-workout breakfast but it's not really a break it's like my first breakfast i like to have two breakfasts breakfasts in the day <laughs> and i also need to do my hair i'm gonna do my hair right now perfect ready to go so I like to just have this Sunrise Crunchy Honey cereal just for like a little free workout snack. It's really good and I think it just gives me some carbohydrates for energy in the morning. really enjoying doing my morning journaling just in a bullet journal the first one is just how am I feeling today then we have what are my goals for today what am I grateful for and what was the best part of yesterday I feel like that just sets the intention for today it writes out kind of like what you want to achieve how you're feeling what you're grateful for for gratitude and also you can reflect on the previous day and I try and do this every morning and I find it just really beneficial for my mental health to journal every single day I'm gonna be heading to the gym super soon, so I'm just packing my little gym bag. This bag is from 437. Put my running shoes, I'm gonna wear these ones today. So these are my Nikon, Nikon, <laughs> Nike Metcon Free 4 sneakers. They're great for like hit classes. So if you're doing F45, Orange Theory, Berries, anything like that. I feel like these are really great shoe. And then my electrolyte water. I just used the Organica electrolytes. This one has also collagen in it. That's my little gym bag. I'm ready to hit the road. <laughs> gym it was such a good workout um loved it it's like 8 a.m something eight something now in the morning and i'm gonna go and just take a shower i just need to wash my hair it's so i'm gonna take this hat off because i don't want to know what's underneath there or at least on camera y'all don't need to see what's underneath this hat okay here's my shower i have lots of different hair products in here i have the design me gloss me line and then I also have the Pureology Strength Cure line in that Coco and Eve deep conditioner. So I'm gonna use that and get nice and clean. Fresh out of the shower, time for my morning skincare routine. So a new item I'm gonna try today, I always use like a toner in the morning, is just this one from Innisfree. It's the green tea seed hyaluronic acid toner. Also know that anything that I show skincare wise is non pore clogging because I check the ingredients on everything. Now I'm just gonna apply the Sunday Riley CEO vitamin C serum. I do two pumps and I apply this all over my face. 
and this just really helps with the skin tone and with brightening up post acne mark i always apply everything down my neck as well a new eye cream that i'm using is this i is or is clinical youth eye complex i feel like it's the first eye cream that i've really noticed any sort of brightness or something towards my skin so i've been really enjoying using it i just apply some onto my ring finger like this and then take some on the other one and i just pat this underneath my eyes and also up into this area for moisturizer i'm currently using the skin cynicals triple lipid restore 242 moisturizer this one is super expensive but when i went back on retinol retin-a my skin was really dry and this seriously like 180 did so expensive but it works and i love that her product it's like if you're gonna be that expensive you better do what you say you're gonna do and this one does i'm just gonna give it a minute i'm gonna apply my lip balm this is the lawless forget the filler overnight lip mask but i apply it in the morning and at night my sunscreen i'm using the skin cuticles physical fusion spf 50 sunscreen make sure to shake it up and i just do two fingers so i do one finger two finger and this one is tinted i've been told or heard from some dermatologists that have been at events etc that if you do have dark pigmentation that you're trying to brighten up you want to be using a tinted sunscreen so here I am. That is my morning skincare. I'm gonna do my hair now because that needs to be done. I'm gonna actually air dry my hair today for the first time in a while, like literally since last summer, I feel like was the last time I air dried my hair. So we're gonna use some products here because I need products when I'm air drying. I'm gonna be using the Purology Color Fanatic 21 Leave-In before I brush out my hair. And then I got these new, um, curl products from Weeded, Weedad, the curl expert. So this one's like a leave-in conditioner. And then this one is just a anti-frizz gel. Those with my waves and see how she dries. I'm gonna use this and apply this in before I brush out my hair because I do have a lot of knots, etc. that I want to get out of my hair. I'm gonna be using this Tangle Teaser brush to brush out my hair because it's super gentle on it, which is what I'm always looking for. I don't want anything that's gonna be like pulling out my hair. Okay, my hair is brushed out. Now I'm gonna go in with these products. Let's make sure they don't have a little cap. They do have a little cap, okay. So I'm gonna go in first just with the Moisture Lock Leave-In Conditioner and I'm going to apply some of this. Much. Rub it between my hands. And we're just gonna start scrunching this throughout my hair. My hair is still really wet. I really wanna try and get my like wave routine down because it's just a lot healthier for your hair to not be putting a ton of heat on it. And now I'm gonna take the gel. I never know how much of this to apply. So I'm only gonna do a little bit, like a quarter size. And again, rub it between my hands. And I'm just gonna start scrunching this into my waves as well. So now I'm just gonna let it air dry and see what happens. I'm gonna try not to touch it either because touching it just creates frizz. Here is my second breakfast. So <laughs> I eat again when I get back from the gym because I'm always starving. It usually is more of like a protein kind of breakfast. So I have two pieces of turkey bacon and egg, two pieces of French bread toast. I made myself an iced latte with cashew milk and just a double shot of espresso. And I go through my planner and my work stuff basically right now and just make sure that I'm prepared for the day that I know what I want to get done, etc etc and then i also need to do a little bit of work before i go do my afternoon stuff because i need to get a video up before 12 p.m but yeah this is like my little second breakfast and i always work while i do this
work done, well, for the morning that I need to do, I still need to do a couple emails. But I'm gonna get dressed first because not that I don't love just living in a robe, but I feel like, you know, an outfit is probably a good idea. So, <laughs> question is, what do I wear? Okay, I think I'm gonna go for these Levi's 80s, 90s, what was are these again? 90s jeans. So I'm gonna do this t-shirt from Zara. I'm gonna layer this beige sweatshirt from Zara as well. I like it, it's like a nice comfy outfit. So I'm gonna wear that today because it's not gonna be super warm. I think the high is 10 maybe. Okay, so here is my finished outfit. Super cute, comfy, casual. I like having the little white t-shirt underneath the sweater. I just think that's super cute. And then I just have my necklaces on. I'll put some rings on and then these are the jeans. So they are like a high rise kind of straight leg denim with lots of rips in them. They're really flattering. They like hug your butt, but then they're loose on the thighs. Probably gonna wear like white Converse with this. Next step in my routine is I'm just gonna do a quick clean of my kitchen. I feel like I just like to keep my space clean. So whenever I can, I'll just do like a nice 10 minute clean, put everything away, wash some dishes quickly, and it just keeps my space looking super nice. done my morning routine I just made some athletic greens to have and I'm going to freshen up deodorant I use the native deodorant scent lavender rose I feel like it's the only natural deodorant I found that actually smells good and I feel like it really does deodorize it does not prevent sweat and then for purging today I'm gonna apply this nest golden nectar perfume I think this one is really nice for spring it's just a really pretty like light floral but sweet scent which is up my alley i'm just gonna do some light makeup today i don't think i'm gonna do foundation but i might i might do just like a really light layer of just the it cosmetics cc cream with my beauty blender and just blend that over my face and see how much coverage that gives me a lot of the time i'm a no makeup gal on the daily basis just because i'm lazy for being honest but if I know I'm gonna be going somewhere, I'll put more of an effort in. And I love that this is non-comedogenic, but also gives you like a good amount of coverage, especially for us, us gals who have a bit of acne. Okay, I'm gonna carry on, do the rest of my little makeup, and I'll show you guys the finished look when I'm all ready to go for the day. guys my makeup is all done now i am dressed i feel like my morning routine is officially done i've done everything that i do in the mornings and we're about to get into my afternoon routine which i'm not filming i hope that you guys enjoyed coming along for my spring morning routine i really enjoyed it and i'm so excited that we are officially into spring and that it's warming up and just my routine for spring, I'm so happy with, and I feel like I've got some really good habits, and I've really started being on my phone less in the mornings, and just spending my mornings in a very productive way that makes me feel really good and very happy moving into the afternoon. Like, I feel like 
I am pleased with my mornings, which is always a good thing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you are new and comment down below one non-negotiable in your morning routine, something that you do every single morning, no matter what, no matter where you are, let me know what it is. It could even just be simple as having a cup of coffee, <laughs> but something that you do every single morning, no matter what. Let me know and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.